Hello everyone, now I went to turn on the computer um, a few days ago and it didn't boot up, it just got to the black screen with American Mega Trends on it. I uh, didn't know what the story was, got into the BIOS and noticed the time and date were way back to 2009. It is 2016 and March, so I assumed it wasn't the correct date. So I got to the, managed to boot to the desktop uh, and noticed the taskbar desktop time and date was also incorrect, which matched the bias. I uh, did some research online and the most common answer was the battery on the motherboard is on its way out because it's not holding uh, its charge and it's not keeping the settings in the BIOS and the time and date and all that correct. So I've got a Sabertooth Z77 motherboard with this armour on it. Normally the battery would be right in there somewhere and you can easily get it out but because of this armour uh, the only way I can see to get the battery out is to have to take everything out. Um, a little bit of a design flaw, I thought. Um, so, unfortunately, it looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'll get back to you. Um, we'll just have to undo each one of these nine motherboard uh, screws. I'm hoping that I can just disconnect that, uh, the fan. Uh, without actually taking the cooler off the um, uh, CPU, I'm hoping I don't have to do that. Uh, I'm hoping the, the armor might come off in two bits, but it oh, doesn't look like it. So I may end up having to take off the CPU cooler as well, which just to change a battery. Oh, uh. But anyway, I'll get back to you. Right, hello everyone, I'm back. Now, finally got the motherboard out, and what a mission, but anyway. Now, I've loosened a couple of screws just to make sure I'm taking the right screws out on the back of the motherboard on the Z77 Sabertooth. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that will um, take off, I'll hopefully take off the armour and I'm hoping it will come off in two bits because I haven't actually taken off the CPU so it's still sitting on there where I'm kind of thinking I'm probably going to so anyway I'll loosen it and just see what we got and I'll get back to you right I'm back now I've loosened the screws taken them all out and it didn't come off straight away because we've got this fan here which also secures the armour so you have to take all the screws out of this before it becomes quite loose as you can see and yeah now the next thing is is it going to be able to slip over that and over this through that gap without you having to take this off I'll get back to you and well what do you know luck would have it I managed to get this off because it did fit through as you can see hopefully it's focusing without having to take all that off which is for me a bonus anyway we can just leave that on the yeah, all four all this hassle just to get at this so I'd have to probably say at this stage um, I don't think I'm even going to bother putting the armor back on but anyway but what I did notice these little fans um, there's dust all in around there so it's actually sucking in and there's a fan up fan up in there as well and it's got quite a bit of dust on it it's actually sucking in and putting dust all around these areas. 
Now, let's see if we can get a closer look at that dust if we've got. Yeah, as you can see, probably just a little bit, it's quite a bit for what it is. And around over here, where the, where the fan was on the side, yeah, there's quite a bit there. Yes, yeah, so I'll get rid of that before I uh, clean it up. Okay. But luckily, although having said that, the rest of the motherboard underneath, I was expecting it to have quite a bit of dust in there, but it doesn't. So I suppose it does actually protect the front of the motherboard to a certain degree for dust. So I might just actually put it back on, but not too sure whether I'll have these fans back on again since it's actually chucking dust in there. Anyway, um, now I cleaned up that uh, bit of dust around those two areas there. Now for changing the battery. Now the battery I went to just my local hardware store and got just a double pack of these. 2032 which seems to be the standard battery used in most uh, motherboards so let's zoom in a wee bit and change oops sorry Now, there's a wee bit of a clip here, and from what I read on the net, you're supposed to just push, oops, push that, and the battery is supposed to, oh there we go, it just pops out, oh there. Okay, so I've got the new battery out of the pack. Yeah, okay, that wasn't so bad. So having to take out all this just for that. Mm. Okay, now it's a matter of hopefully it's uh, worked. Um, but then we've got to go into the bias and reset everything. So I'll, I'll put it all back together. There's not much point boring out and putting everything back together. So um, I'll just do that and we'll hopefully uh, set the camera up in front of the bias and see what happens. Okay, I'll get back to you. Right, hello everyone. Now I've just uh, put the armor back on. I've decided I'll just leave it as as it was and put the, also put the fans back in. Even though uh, it didn't leave a little bit of, suck a wee bit of dust in there, but it wasn't too much. So I thought I'd just uh, leave everything as because it does look pretty cool anyway. So what I'll do now is just screw it all in and reassemble everything and hopefully turn it on and it doesn't blow up on me. <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you. Right, I'm back. Now I've got everything hopefully back in the case and all connected up. So um, I'll... Uh, get it connected to the power and see if it uh, turns on okay right right Go get into the bias and set set the date time now I'm not a a tech person by any means I have absolutely no real computer skills. I just did quite a bit of research online, YouTube videos and uh, just uh, threads and computer uh, sites etc and all the information on what was happening to my computer initially uh, 
all the information, well, the main, main common answer was your CMOS battery is gone or it's not holding the charge so it's not holding all the settings in time for your um, computer. So uh, it seems to be the correct assumption. So I've changed the time and because I'm not a computer technician I'm not going to go and do any of this area here because I really don't know what it is. Um, apart from say the boot, just to check that uh, my boot option for my Samsung uh, SSD 850 EVO and it has my operating system and that on it so I obviously want to get to uh, there's my uh, optical drives and my other spare um, mechanical hard drive so that's all all in there that's great so basically optimized load optimized defaults save changes and hopefully it will get to the desktop and um, it seems to have worked correct time on the task taskbar there which matches up with the uh, bias so that for me uh, I think that's that's a, an excellent result but uh, I think uh, Asus not having a little trap door so to speak something you can just unscrew a couple of screws take off a wee panel so you can get at the the battery when needed uh, I think that's a bit of a design flaw overall I don't know what the newer motherboards are probably like but for me having to do all that although I kind of enjoyed it because it did actually work um, but I didn't need to spend three odd hours if it was uh, another motherboard on my other computer you can see the battery is plain as day and it probably would have only taken uh, probably 20 minutes at the most for me so um, <coughs> excuse me yeah but anyway it's all done and I'm happy over and out